Queen gets behind wheel to drive out of Windsor with dogs day after Philip's funeral. The Queen emerged today from her Windsor Castle residence to take her dogs for a walk following Prince Philip's funeral on Saturday. In pictures, which were snapped this afternoon, her Majesty drove her from Windsor Castle today to walk her two corgis. This is the first time since she has been seen since the heartbreaking funeral on Saturday where she said goodbye to her husband of over 70 years. The Queen has spent the last 12 months in Windsor as she and Philip isolated due to the pandemic. Following Philip's death, she will now reside with her lady-in-waiting, Lady Susan Hussey. The so-called HMS bubble team of staff will also remain at Windsor to carry out their duties. Philip and the Queen did spend time at Balmoral over the summer and Sandringham but spent the majority of the last year in Windsor. Before moving to Windsor to be closer to his wife, the Duke spent his days at the Wood Farm residence on the Sandringham estate. He took up residence there after retiring from official duties in 2017. After isolating with the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh was admitted to King Edward VII's hospital where he underwent treatment for a pre-existing heart condition last month. While there, he was visited by his Prince Charles before he returned to Windsor. Following her husband's death, it is unclear whether the Queen will return to Buckingham Palace. According to the Daily Mail, it is unlikely the Queen will return to spend the night at Buckingham Castle, and will instead permanently relocate to Windsor Castle. She will only return to the palace for work but will not stay over, one commentator claimed. If needed, Charles may be asked to conduct official duties at the palace in the Queen's place. Richard Kay said, staff have been told that the castle will be the Queen's permanent home barring Christmas holidays at Sandringham and summers in Balmoral and that while she will return to work at Buckingham Palace, it is unlikely she will ever spend another night there. If weekly audiences with the Prime Minister are permitted post-Covid to resume, this means Mr Johnson will have to travel from Downing Street to Windsor, while ambassadors and high commissioners may also have to present their official credentials there too. Away from residing at Windsor, the Queen was forced to sit alone during the service on Saturday due to Covid restrictions. Due to the restrictions, only 30 people were allowed to attend the funeral. Lady Susan did accompany the Queen in her private car as they travelled to the service. The Queen had personally asked Lady Susan to join her on the short journey to St George's Chapel. In a brief moment, the Queen appeared to wipe away a tear as she travelled in the state Bentley.